This is a video for how to go about creating a drawing template in Fusion 360. Before we create our drawing template, we want to come up and click on our name from our Fusion 360 account and go to Preferences. And when we go to Preferences, we're going to see a brand new box show up, and we're going to click on Drawing on the left-hand side, and we're going to go to Sheet Size, and we're going to go down to 8.5 by 11. I always think it's good just to give you an idea of how you can go in and set all of your defaults for when you make anything new, just kind of before we start something. So we're going to say OK. We're going to go up to File and we're going to go down to New Drawing, and we're going to go to New Drawing Template. And when we load that, you're going to notice it automatically defaulted to 11 by 8.5. We want more of a portrait size drawing for the, what I do in my class, and I'm going to say OK. And it's going to go ahead and load just kind of the standard title block. Now, for me, this is not nearly enough space for what I want my students to do in my class because this title block seems to just take up way too much. So when I drag my mouse down, you're going to notice that it kind of becomes like dotted lines. We're going to double click when that shows up, and we're going to go to Edit Title Block. And it's going to say the default title block can't be edited. Like you can't, you can't edit this default Fusion 360 title block. So we're going to go to Add Title Block, and you're going to have to give it a name. And for my classes, I'm going to call this PL. PLTW title block. Within my personal PLTW courses, we're going to call this PLTW title block, and I'm going to say OK. And automatically, it's going to take you directly down to the title block. You'll notice all these things in blue. You know, all these things in blue that you see are things that it's automatically going to pull from the parts that you created in Fusion 360. Now, for me and my classes, I don't want to keep all of this down here at the bottom. So for what we're going to do for my classes only is I'm going to double, I'm going to check off this border and the border will kind of disappear and I want to get rid of this entire title block. So I'm going to drag a window over all of it and I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn my border back on because I want to see the size sheet of paper as I go through and create this title block. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to line and I just kind of want to draw a line that goes right across, you know, this first major grid line. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the line command, and we're just going to come over and snap on the size. I'm going to right click and say OK. This line is going to give us kind of a baseline for where we're going to put our name and date and a lot of different things. We come up here to attribute. We're going to click on attribute, and it's going to go ahead and just snap over here on the left. Now for now, we're just going to go ahead and snap to the left of that line we just drew this snap right here and automatically it's going to give us drawn by like when we click on drawn by there's all these different attributes that can pull from the object. We're going to stay with drawn by and I'm going to say close and automatically you're going to see drawn by down here turn blue. I just want you to tap on that and then click inside this gray square and we're just going to drag that kind of along here just a little bit out from the side. I don't care how far you go just about there and we're just going to go ahead and click. Let's go back up to attribute again. Now again, it's going to just go ahead and snap. For the sake of keeping everything in line, we're just going to keep snapping to that side. And we're going to go down to Project Name and say Close. I'm going to tap on Project Name. I'm going to click on that box. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this along. Give yourself a little bit of space for your name to show up. And I'm just going to keep it, I don't know, about here is fine. We just want to keep everything right along this line. We're going to go up to Attribute again. Along here, I'm going to snap. I'm going to go up to project name and let's just go down to title one. That's kind of a subtitle of your um, project. So project is actually like the name of the folder you created in Fusion 360. Title one is the name of the actual part file. So I'm going to go ahead and place that right about here. Just as long as everything is lined up, that's all I really care about for this. We're going to go back up to attribute. And if we kind of get a little bit further here on the right, it's going to go ahead and snap on the right. I'm going to go ahead and click there, and I'm going to go to Drawing Scale, which is the third one down. I'm going to say Close, tap on that object, and I'm going to go ahead and drag to the left. And I'm just going to place this right about here. Now, obviously, if you want things to be more perfectly lined up, you can kind of go along and say, I want to snap to this exact grid, that exact grid. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you how to line things up. Last attribute that I'm going to place is going to be the date that the drawing was made. So we're going to go up here and we're going to go to drawn date and we're going to say close. Click on that object. We're going to go ahead and just drag it over and we're going to go ahead and place it. Now you'll notice that I have everything lined up horizontally along this line. Again, if you want to say let's go ahead and line these up perfectly on these grid lines so everything is uniform, go ahead and do that. Um, it'll keep everything uniform every single time for every single class that you're in. If I do this, I can just go ahead and snap along here and I can just snap to each line. And once I'm done with this, I don't need this line anymore. I don't want it to show up. So I'm going to tap on that line and I'm going to go to delete and I'm going to go to finish title block. And you'll notice down at the bottom here, it just has, you know, the code that you saw of everything it's going to pull from the part that you created. We're going to go up to save. 
and right here I'm going to call this PLTW title block and I'm going to say save. Now if I come over here and I go back to showing my data panel you can see down here at the bottom I have something called PLTW title block that is within my project folder right here but I can actually have other projects I can I can pull something else out onto this object so um, in other videos I will go through and I will show you how to create um, fully dimensioned drawings and how we're going to use this template within all of my other uh, part creation drawings just so we have so much space up in here like I, I like to see more of the drawing and less of title blocks as I go through and I design so this has been a video on how to go about creating a drawing template in Fusion 360.